emergency press conference. Stop the presses. Hot off the press. This is going to change the housing market forever. Oh, my gosh. You're never going to believe this. New headline. Interest rates don't matter. Chad, you don't understand. People are waiting on the sidelines till interest rates drop. Chad, you don't understand. Interest rates are 7.5%. Chad, you don't understand. Uh, people are so concerned about interest rates. If you have heard any of this, if you have said any of this, it's not true. It's simply not true. People don't care about interest rates. Interest rates don't matter. If you've ever had a creed, if you've ever had a motto, if you've ever had an affirmation, make this yours going forward. Interest rates don't matter. They've never mattered. Interest rates don't matter. People don't care about interest rates. Well, of course they do, Chad. No, they don't. They care about three things. They care about how much money do I have to put down? How long do I have to pay it? And what is my monthly payment? That's all they care about. They don't care about interest rates. And so our job as sales professionals is first to adopt the mindset that interest rates don't matter. Make that your make that your your mission to spread the word that interest rates don't matter. So that's the first. We have to understand that as, as, a, as a sales professional, as an expert. The second thing is we have to get our customers to trip over the truth that interest rates don't matter. And you say, well, Chad, we sell payments. This isn't about selling payments. Selling payments is really important, but not until they shift their perspective that interest rates don't matter. Because when we try to sell payment without shifting the perspective and the mindset of our buyers that interest rates don't matter, they still have this distraction in the back of their mind that they have to wait because interest rates are so high. It's not until we get that, we liberate them from this, from this belief that interest rates matter that we can start to sell them. So how do you do this? We facilitate them tripping over the truth. We do this through social conversations. We put it in context. Let me give you an example. Mr. and Mrs. Buyer, let me ask you a question. What is your current interest rate on your credit cards? Now, nobody knows what the interest rate on the credit cards. You watching the video right now do not know what your interest rate is on your credit card. You may have an idea. I think it's 16 to 17%. I think it's 21 to 27%. The national average is 27% interest rate credit card. And the things we buy with the credit card are always depreciating value. Nobody cares about a 7% interest rate on an appreciating asset like a home. And so we, we ask the question, what do you pay? Well I, well, I don't know. It's something exactly. What do you pay on your credit your interest rate for your car? Well, I don't know. It's around. And so now, just by facilitating questions like this, they go, ah, okay, well, maybe interest rates don't matter. Now they start to trip. Now they're starting to trip over the truth. Once they start to trip, then you come in and sell them on payment. But before you do that, you say to them, so let me ask you a question, Mr. Mr. Buyer. If I was able to get you a monthly payment in your budget range, if I was able to get you a uh, down payment that is in your range, if I was able to get the length of the term within your range, if those three things were to align, would you then be moving forward today? Would interest rates matter? Well, no. If you were able to get me a $2,000 a month payment with a you know $80,000 down and for a 30-year loan, then no, it wouldn't matter what the interest rates were because you've met the three things that drive my decision-making process. This is what, how we sell. We don't just sell payment. We shift perspective of our buyers that interest rates don't matter. Where does a badge of honor? Put it in your model home. Put it on a post-it note. Hang it from the rafters. I don't care. But if you want to be successful going forward, you have to take the mindset and the understanding that interest rates don't matter. So then we can transfer that to every single buyer and do what's best for them. Do what is best for them, not what is easy for you. Interest rates don't matter.